So now uh, moving into the realm of uh, production equipment, uh, uh, we have a presentation from Maxwell, a well-known heterojunction production equipment supplier and also a turnkey solution provider. Uh, yeah, it's probably Maxwell doesn't need any introduction. So today we have uh, Peter Wolf, uh, Vice President uh, of Overseas, uh, Overseas uh, Sales uh, at Maxwell, going to speak on high efficiency and low cost heterojunction turnkey, uh, turnkey line solutions. So Peter, the floor yeah, is yours. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, thank you, Shravan, for the introduction and also uh, for this opportunity to, to introduce our latest uh, technology. Um, I should share my screen, I think. Okay. So I think we are on the right way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I think we have already a very nice speech from uh, Hua Xuan. Uh, this is one of our, our biggest uh, customers. So I think... Uh, so we are also a part of this uh, Huasan uh, process and the progress. Um, I will just introduce a, a little bit what we are doing at the moment and what is our future outlook for the HAT. So just a little bit about our company. Uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, since 2010, we are, let's say, uh, developed quite fast. Uh, now we have uh, more than, more than 4,000 employees. Uh, planning for a, a, a huge new uh, factory in, in, in Suzhou, uh, mainly for the production of the HAT equipment. And, and then we're coming also to a little bit uh, uh, the, the development. So it means as we started uh, uh, the HAT 1.0 uh, uh, in 2019, um, because uh, in this time in 2019, uh, Maxwell, we strongly believe that the, the HAT can be, let's say, a pre a successor of the of the existing uh, uh, technologies. So Maxwell put a lot of uh, effort and and also we invested a lot of money in in, in uh, R and D and development uh, and looked in this topic. And uh, in 2019, from our first line uh, uh, we have on M two M six, we developed uh, to the HAT two point zero. Uh, already with the uh, M12 uh, half cell. Now we have our latest uh, high capacity, high throughput uh, line uh, for mainly M10 and, and, and G12 uh, half cut cells, uh, which the line capacity of uh, around uh, 600, 600 megawatt with high yields, uh, high efficiencies. Yeah, um, so this is what we have developed so far, uh, means uh, we can provide, let's say, uh, uh, entire turnkey line, equipment line. That means from texturing, gathering, PCVD, PVD, printer, tester, and of course, automation. And uh, very important also our, our BCS, uh, MES, wafer tracking system, uh, we can provide uh, the whole equipment for uh, for HAT turnkey. Um, the half cut uh, process, I think, have uh, some advantages we, we think uh, against the full wafer processing. First is, of course, uh, uh, we, we, let's say, we avoid uh, damages uh, when we cut the, the wafer. Uh, after the process means the damage on the TCO layer. And um, <coughs> this also can increase uh, the efficiency in the in the module side. Uh, and of course, uh, if you're doing a half cut, we can using even a very thin wafer because uh, in the full cell, you can imagine the bending is, is quite uh, huge if you have a, have a very thin wafer. And this we can avoid and we, we cut the wafer before uh, the process. And then process uh, through the line, and then this is more easy uh, for the automation to handle a half cut, very thin wafer. Um, starting with our uh, half cut, so I will introduce you the, the single steps of our our equipment line. Um, we starting with a, a 
with a half cut laser, uh, pre-cleaning and a gathering. I think the advantages of gathering is already explained a little bit. Uh, so gathering, uh, we want to get out more of this uh, metallic impurities on the wafer. So we can, let's say, uh, uh, utilize uh, the full ingot uh, um, and not uh, have uh, any 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 problems uh, uh, afterwards and we can increase the, the whole yield of the of the line going forward uh, of course is our texturing uh, the technology is comes from uh, YSC from from Japan uh, um, they have quite a huge experience in in, in HAT way for processing. So we are very delighted to work with uh, YSC, with a very experienced uh, people and a very experienced company. Um, so they're providing uh, the, the texturing uh, technology uh, and they, in, in our line, um, where we can also set up very, 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 let's say, detailed and very, uh, a lot of uh, different, different. Uh, cleaning steps and, and also steps are needed in the in the end type end type way for processing <clears throat> next step is uh, of course our our pcvd uh, this is a uh, own development from maxwell we are working on since several years uh, and now we come bring this in a in a, in a huge uh, uh, step forward to a mass production tool with a, with a very high throughput. As you see, we're talking now about throughputs uh, of the CVD from 7,200 uh, full wafer or 14,400 uh, half wafer. What the target is, of course, uh, uh, the high throughput can decrease also the overall equipment uh, uh, capex, uh, what is very important because uh, for HAT, usually the, the capex was always a kind of a, uh, uh obstacle to to let's say to put this in a in a mass production yeah and um of course we also try to improve uh, um, the in, in the efficiencies and also the overall yields uh so we we doing uh, i inp processing that means we're using three cvds cvd one two and three where we First, uh, uh, doing an eye, eye, coat, eye layer coating. Uh, that means on the backside, we, we already protect protect the backside before we do the IN because, uh, you know, in the N, N layer, uh, usually there's uh, used some boron content and this is uh, a little bit nasty and can also a little bit have an impact on the, on the P side. So, uh, but if you have the eye layer in, in before, before we coat the N layer, then uh, this can protect the site and uh, the, the P site and um, also leads to an efficiency gain of, of uh, around 0.15%. So here we see the sequence uh, so that we can understand what we're doing. So we're doing first the uh, amorphosilicon I layer, then the IN layer, then, uh, then the P layer, and all in separate tools uh, also to avoid some cross contaminations. Uh, so we can also have a much 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 uh, um, better result on the on the on the CBD coating process. Um, this is also our own developed uh, PVD. Um, uh, what we are targeting here is also a high throughput tool. Um, what we put in uh, here is also uh, more uh, PUs for the coating. Uh, in order to, to prepare uh, for uh, cost reduction uh, for cost reduction processes, uh, so what we're seeing now, there's a lot of uh, interest to replace uh, ITO uh, indium synoxide with the ASO uh, um, uh, material, and uh, uh, with this uh, eight PUs, we we can. Also already uh, we can uh, use uh, ASO and, and also do a PVD coating as a, as a stack coating where we coating different layers uh, like uh, starting with a with the ITO then we be coating two ASO and uh, one ITO on top so to reduce the the the, the use of the of the indium synoxide um, 
we don't see any 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 let's say shortage at the moment for indium sinoxide but to prepare for for future uh, uh, let's say developments and for future cost reduction so our pvd is already prepared uh, to react on this on this um, on this cost reduction targets and uh, talking about targets of course we want to uh, um, also utilize the targets on a higher level and of course, uh, what we are also focusing on on all our equipment is uh, the 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 easy or convenient usage of the tools in the mass production. So we don't need any crane here to replace the targets. Uh, so we find other possibilities to make it more easy or more convenient for the for the people in the in the shop floor. And this also leads to uh, higher uptimes and uh, and uh, decrease all your maintenance and also your cleaning times. Actually, uh, this is the state of the art. We're using still a, a, a screen print uh, for the metallization process. Um, we are processing uh, actually uh, uh, the wafer for the metallization. Um, what includes, of course, all the half cut uh, printing. Uh, it includes also a, a step of uh, hydrogenation uh, with the LED uh, uh, treatments, <coughs> includes a, a curing curing oven uh, what you need uh, to to do the metallization process uh, as you know HAT it is a low temperature it's a low temperature process uh, so to make sure all the all the <clears throat> low temperature processes is, is is in order um, so this is also we developed our own curing dryer uh, where we're achieving curing times uh, of, of seven minutes. Uh, what we think or what we see, it's it's enough uh, for our, our technology. A um, little bit special, uh, we, we also produce our own uh, automation, it means loading, unloading automation for PVD, CVD. Uh, what here is uh, what we what we implemented in this automation is uh, we have a sealed automation uh, with the addition uh, uh, FFU chemical filters so that we can achieve a much much better uh, a cleanless environment inside uh, the automation that means there where the wafer are handled uh, this is especially important uh, if you transfer the wafer from texturing to cvd from cvd to pvd because every contamination uh, also leads to to problems or to to yield losses and this is why we took a very very focus on on this automation to make this uh, very suitable and of course our automation is uh, totally um, uh, cap capable to to process uh, half cut wafers for m10 and also for m12 a very important thing is also uh, our line mes system so the target here was from the beginning to do a single wafer tracking um what is collect a, a lot of data but the target was here very clear uh, is not only to see we we only on the one hand we can really see uh, we have a compre comprehensive monitoring of the product quality that means of the product process so because we can track every wafer so what has happened in the process on the other hand we also can see uh, uh what is the status of the equipment? Huh? So that means this helps a lot in the production, especially in the mass production, uh, with with statistics and 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 tools for analysis uh, to see what is happening with your tools. Uh, is there any any maintenance necessary, or there may be some parts uh, uh, we need to replace uh, because we're seeing a decrease on on the performance so this mes system is is quite uh, an advanced system and it's very very helpful especially if you're doing a mass production and especially on this highly automated on this highly automated uh, uh, lines we we pr provide now to the market Yeah, this is also something we did in our in our uh, uh, laboratory, or we did it together with uh, with the company SunDrive. Uh, uh, we provided them a blue wafer so that they can uh, on this blue wafer they can do their their plating, uh, their copper plating. 
And um, as the results uh, coming out for, with, uh, with uh, efficiencies over 26%, we are really strongly believe in, in Maxwell that the copper plating, uh, as also uh, was mentioned by Huasin, is not only is not only to replace the silver paste uh, to eliminate this cost factor of silver paste. It's also a very good possibility to increase the, the efficiencies and the performance of the of the cells and also of the HAT models. So we think it's a future. It will be will be possible in a very near future. Will be possible to have a copper plating uh, tools or copper plating processes in mass production, where we exceeding a twenty six percent of cell efficiency in mass production. And this is also, let's say, uh, uh, is reflected in our our Maxwell efficiency roadmap. Uh, that means um, we started also uh, with the twenty four point four with our tools with our line complete line. Now we introduced already the nanocrystalline uh, coating for the inside uh, to achieve efficiencies over twenty five percent in mass production. Um, now we're looking at uh, uh, different possibilities on uh, metallization because metallization is still, let's say, um, the process, uh, the part of the process uh, where we can have very huge potential for for not only for cost uh, decrease, also for efficiency, for efficiency increases. Um, so this is uh, ongoing. Uh, so we will uh, optimize our metallization uh, process. Uh, to achieve uh, a 0 0.5 uh, efficiency increase um, until end of this year. And uh, then we want, want to start, or we already started to, to do, uh, let's say, some, some uh, pilot uh, lines with a P, P nanocrystal line uh, also on the P side. So what also boosts the efficiency of the, of the cells of over 26%. And of course, our efficiency target. I uh, even cannot see my own. Okay, this is uh, the next slide. Uh, efficiency target by 2023 is over 26% in mass production on the average production output. And of course, uh, as already talked before, uh, Maxwell also looking in the possibilities of copper plating. So this is the first, let's say, um, outlook uh, what we at the moment thinking uh, could be very helpful uh, to produce this HAT cell on high efficiency and low cost uh, uh, level. So this is our first idea how we want to do uh, the copper plating. Uh, we're working with the several companies in China, uh, local companies together and also um, the several manufacturer. Uh, to improve and to introduce this this plating in in a, in a mass production industrial uh, environment. So we think uh, oh, go down. Um, and we got some results from from the copper plating. Uh, so that means uh, from cost side, of course, uh, if you're looking in the total cost, uh, because we also need additional uh, recycling, we need additional cleaning uh, uh, methods. Um, for the plating, uh, but in in fact, for the for the <coughs> sorry for the total cost, we can see a really cost decrease on the efficiency uh, on the on the cell efficiency on the cell. <coughs> sorry, uh, we see a very significant cost decrease because we replace the whole whole silver paste. <coughs> ah, sorry. Uh, but still, uh, we're seeing also the the capex cost is uh, for 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 the plating tools are still high, and also facility costs will be also higher. <laughs> so this like development. Um, yeah, I have no yeah, water please. here. You can bring me oh. some water. That would be nice, but I don't have it here. <laughs> No, just to mention this, uh, this is a, is a, is the initial step we're doing now at the moment, and uh, we are quite sure we we on a good way. Especially if you see the results for the for the copper plated, what already demonstrated. So we think this could be a, a good way to let's say to bring this metallization process uh, forward. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is a little bit the our project plan, what we have uh, uh, incorporated uh, in our internal internal uh, planning. So we want to have uh, the first pilot line in in in, in quarter uh, one in next year. This means we want to install the first pilot line in quarter one in 20, 2023. And of course, we need to collect a lot of data. We need to improve the tools. So we expecting a, a timeline of around 12 months before we go, before we can install the first production line in, in, in China first. And uh, I think uh, after this first production line is, is, uh, is uh, running and is, uh, the results are showing the the, let's say, or the results confirming the, the results we have already from the R&D and from the lab, then we are going to, to have a ready solution in, in, in Q, Q3 in 2024. This will be from now on only uh, some 18 months. <laughs> yeah, and this is all from me for the moment. Okay, thank you. Um, I I'm actually sorry have for... one question. You know, yeah, no. Please, please. Meanwhile, you can you can have go and have some water and come back. Uh, I will continue with the next presentation. Then I will ask this question. Please. Okay. Okay. Then they will yeah. uh, thank you first. And uh, yeah, if there's any question, of course, you can write it in the chat or we can can uh, talk later. Okay. Yeah. No okay. Problem. Thank okay, you. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you.